I think he deserved the rest. However, he's got to wake up at some point, right? Welcome to the finale of Pokemon Fire Red. Of course, I told you I would do this. And I know it's taken a while. It could have been done sooner, too. But, you know, I had another series to do while doing it. And I don't really want these piling up on unfinished series. This is this. So, here is a compilation of every single Pokemon I did not have. You know, some clips uh, start weird. Sorry about that. And I completely lost a set of clips. So, you know, that kind of all messed up. But it was all fixed, thankfully. So, enjoy that. All right, we are doing more trades. Uh, you know. Uh, Papas is on the right, Papaya's on the left. Uh, gotta trade Plaid for Vongian. Had some minor issues. Uh, trying to get this set up. Yeah, been fine otherwise, though. It's just, uh... You know, starting it up, and then, uh... If I need to, like, change controls, that can interrupt the thing. Gotta trade Poovu. <laughs> it sounds distant or like it's underwater. Very strange. Um, so I should say, yes, it was this video that, uh, has been stopping me from playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I mean, also, to be fair, I just want to wait a while. Uh, but yeah. Poif. Er, squeezy. I ended up just buying Squeezy. Oh. Nice. Oh boy. This would really delay me quite a long time if... Like, I did the entire national decks. We got... Paisu... For Kryla. Um... This should pretty much be the last of the trades that I need to do. You know, other than some evolution ones, but eh. What are you gonna do? Uh, 
Um, I am actually recording it pretty much exactly how you're seeing it right now. This is basically what I'm seeing, just without the window borders or bevels. Alright, Angelimus for Atutu. Be loads longer if I was doing national decks. Like it's just the regional decks. Also, considering I can't actually do the national decks unless I play Gen 3 on my own, completing it fully, that just doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Alright. Well, but for now. Next Krulo is evolving. like I named him that for a reason. Congratulations, your Krulo evolved into Tentacruel. Uh, so. I messed up. I messed up really bad. Uh, so somehow I have lost a specific set of trades I did with Leaf Green. And also the footage of the trades happening. That's that's on my part. That's my bad because I accidentally deleted it along with deleting a bunch of other videos I didn't need to use. So I have to get those back and yeah, it's it's I swear I did it, but it's like it never actually even happened. So yeah. Hey, got a Firo. You could have gotten this somewhere else, but I'm on Seven Island already. So, got it here. Its huge and magnificent wings can keep it afloat in the sky. It can remain flying a whole day without landing. Huh. Sure. Flecky. What? Bulbasaur is evolving? Yeah, I mean, it should be pretty expected, but... You never know, I guess. It has no special name. He has no special name. Congratulations, your Bulbasaur evolved into Ivysaur. Alright. I mean, do I really need to read it? Ivysaur is evolving. Fine, there, you get it. But you already know, it evolves into Venusaur. Yeah. This is actually a pretty good spot. Right here. Right here. And both of these uh, Ace Trainers have five Pokemon each. Uh, they're single battles, sure, but... It is better than the one island stuff. And right inside of here. I might as well show this now. There's a Chansey in here. There was a Lucky Punch here. And then... There's this guy. Dance! Dance! Chansey, dance! You join in too. Dance! Dance! Yeah. Do the Chansey dance. And uh -huh, there you're old chipper no lucky. Your Pokemon are fully healed right here. Sure it's a walk. But to be fair, 
the other place is too. Ooh, sorry, that's a little weird. Eh, should be fine, probably. Yeah, Squirtle's evolving, of course he is. Why wouldn't he? War Turtle, where it becomes purple. For zero reason whatsoever. Such a disappointment. Yes! Okay. I am still on Seven Island, but... Again, I'm already here. Might as well. Get it. It usually lives underground. It searches for food while boring its way through the ground at 50 miles per hour. Sure. Opal. And now, more turtle is evolving. Still a little bummed out about, you know, losing that footage, losing those Pokemon. Man, it's not like anybody should reasonably believe it either. There is zero proof of it. Unless I show the Pokedex for Leaf Green, but like, yeah. I mean, who cares? I gotta just release them, right? Uh. Yeah. You know, I didn't think the ball would actually hit when he was flying. But hey, a ditto! It can freely recombine its uncellular structure to transform into other life forms. Diabolical uses is what you may think of. How dare you? Oh, man. Ah, <sighs> oh, no, I think one of the Pokemon that was lost was a Ditto. Uh, I think he was named... Old Squishy, I believe was their name. So... Ah, it's you, your champa, and your old squishy are doing fine. The two don't seem to like each other much. Now, that seems like, oh, they're not going to be able to make any eggs. No, they can. Uh, the two prefer playing with other Pokemon would mean they can't, you know, make any eggs. And why am I making them make eggs? Uh, it's more of a me thing. I, I want to get a living dex just to make, you know, the next game easier to complete. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing that just on my own time. All you need to see is me completing the Pokédex and what I get for that. Serpy is evolving. Just to, you know, at least... Make sure you know the name. Yeah, in uh, all the playthrough, never actually evolved it into a Metapod. Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, there's something I should mention. What was it? Oh yeah, uh, these these two don't give out much money. Like, pretty much at all. Like, only 2,000 each. There's another place you can go for money specifically in the post game. Uh, if I ever figure it out, I'll show you. And Zippery is evolving again. Serpy. Man. I don't know. I just said it. I just said its name. How'd I forget it was Serpy, not Sipri? Sipri just seems better. Why didn't I do Sipri? Grovel is evolving. I mean, yeah. 
it was bound to happen. I mean, this one's kind of just for me, but I'm actually not sure if we have it in the Pokédex. Like, you know, registered and all that. Daho is evolving. I could actually justify using a Vigiot. But. It's just not that good. And Daho is evolving again. Level 36. I swear. I, I got a Pidgeot to level 40 before, and it never evolved. Oh, hey. Now we got Pidgeot. Alright, we're back. Um... So, the only ones that, you know, were lost were the Sandshrew and the Bellsprout. I didn't name them. Oh well. Narla for Sandshrew. Feels good to completely trust uh, it recording it, right? Oh, I should also mention there's a Hitmon Lee that's just completely gone now, but you know how I'm breeding my Charizard with the Ditto? I could breed my Hitmon Lee with the Ditto. And then, you know, get a Tyrogue and have the chance of evolving it into a Hitmonlee. So that's good. Anyways, Utra for Bellsprout. I'll try and get it on camera. But I, I, I if you are a solo player, that is how you would get the other Hitmon you didn't get. And also how you get Hitmon top. And yeah, that's basically it. Next. Oh yeah. I hope that timed up good enough. Bellsprout is evolving. And you already know what it is. It's a weeping bell. So <laughs> such a blank stare. And I can instantly evolve it with the leaf stone what a way it's evolving who could have seen that coming i saw it coming Into Victory Bell. James had one. Sure didn't like him. Probably. And we got Sand True Evolving. I mean... These are all pretty obvious. It's the Sand Slash. I guess if you've never seen Pokemon before... Fine, you, you won't know what these are. 
That isn't... I never thought of doing it for that reason, though. It just... Hmm. I just kind of started doing it for no reason. Yeah. Got an Ekans, because I apparently never did. But I guess it was on very limited rounds. Uh, let's see. Lurk. It's on a very... Okay. To get to this one, you have to already go around and go off the main road. And then for the rest of them, you... Like the one near Lavender Town, you have to have cut for it. Like, you have to go out of your way to f specifically find it. It's not... It's not common. Hey! Easy enough. I was just in here trying to get a moonstone. Because you need it for four Pokemon. Growlithe, very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. Oh, genie. Uh, if you were following the series on how to find moonstones, you will need the one, and it's right here. But I already got it, so it won't make the noise again. Uh, yeah, that was the last moonstone, moonstone I needed. Sippy, the Clefairy. Of course it needs one. Yeah, I noticed the channel is losing people you know, from me not posting. But uh, this has to be done first. Gonzo, the Needle Reno. Into Nito King. I shouldn't have held the end for so long. That just feels wrong. Uh, anyways. Uh, Vumi. Nido Reno became Nido King. It's pretty obvious as hell. She's gonna become Nido Queen. And finally, <sighs> Jojufuso. Jojufuso is evolving. <laughs> Uh, I could have gotten away with no vowels, but <laughs> I had to put the O. Wigglytuff. Because what else? Yeah. That's all the Moonstone evolutions, to my knowledge. I know in normal... Red, green, blue, yellow. There wasn't that many moonstones you could find. Uh, let alone... Actually, no, you... Pokemon couldn't hold anything, so... Clefairy couldn't hold them. Uh, like they can in this one, at Mount Moon. So, technically, moonstones are able to... to be infinitely farmed. You know, you just gotta... Snatch them away from the Clefairies whenever they have their small chance of holding one. Now, some Firestone evolutions. Ugini. Ogini. Ogini? 
No. Oh, genie. To Arcanine. And then, of course, Vongian. You may be thinking, doesn't, uh, Ponita use a Firestone? I'm pretty sure no. It's just through level up. I guess I'll confirm it. If you never see it evolve that way, then you know it's not through a Firestone. Lurk is evolving. To Arbok, which is just Cobra backwards, but you already knew that, right? Right? <gasps> Zubat is evolving. I don't know why I didn't name it. Of course, it's a gold bat. Oh, yeah, uh. I guess I should mention this now, if any time is good. You cannot get Crobat, which is the evolution of this, which was introduced after Gen 1. Uh, you just can't get it during the main story. It'll say, it's evolving, and then it'll stop itself. Uh, I don't, I don't know why they did it that way. When it would make Zubat usable in this generation, but... Oh well. Right? Ah, shoot! Uh. I didn't focus on its level during the battle. But yeah. Got a gloom now. Wish we're gonna immediately evolve. Uh, I don't think I passed it. I must have passed it, or maybe I just never had one. Uh, Leaf Stone, what did I use that on exactly? <gasps> Victory Bell, right. Okay, let me go get one. Well, probably gonna evolve these other few before that. Hey, at least I didn't forget this time. Pew Pew. Because there's no way I was going to name it Mew Mew. Persian. I feel like nobody really ever uses Persian. Rightfully so. It's not a that good. And it's a normal type. Normal types suck. X is evolving. If that musky man can name his thing X, then I can name my thing X. Despite it being one of the dumbest names I've ever seen. At least it's a gold duck now. Alright, I'll, I'll go get that leaf stone. Alright. There we go. Wanderous. Evolving into Vile Plume. I will not use the sunstone I already had, because I need to complete only the Gen 1 Pokédex, not the National Dex.
Yeah, Vile Bloom. So happy. i just like to mention something. I noticed people have been, uh, you know, making videos on the Gen 1 and 2 to Gen 3 trading thing, but they've been calling it their own. Like, I don't know why. I, I saw the guy who made it, like, made the actual PCB and all that, you know, first. Before everybody decided to start saying, I made a trade between Gen 1 to Gen 3. I don't know. It's, it's the titles that make it really feel like they're trying to take credit. Oh yeah, more trades. I know, it's, you know, not ideal. Well, uh, but, you know. Uh, actually, th this is more of the ones I missed. Or, actually, lost. Uh, or, or... Oh. Only one. First off... Adobe! Verpath. Cause you gotta do it. Yes, this does actually mean I had to grind out the coins again. Hopefully, well actually, not hopefully, uh, thankfully I won't have to do that again. Okay, Kombucha. Luckily I didn't trade him in that, so we were pretty good. For Pinkaloo, Ponkaloo. We got a lot of Pokemon in the decks right now. And then we got Mzaddy for Piondle. Because, you know, it's a trade evolution. You know, he's gonna evolve instantly. <gasps> yeah, the other one's just kind of put on hold while he evolves. Which I guess you've seen already. Yeah, yeah, you've seen it already. That was a weird noise. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Next. Alright. I'm gonna get two of the Thunderstone evolutions out of the way. I had to buy them. I couldn't find them anywhere. On the main journey. 
You know, in the anime, they say, you know, that Raichu loses speed when it evolves from a Pikachu. That's not true at all. It, in fact, gains speed. I don't know why they said that. It just doesn't make much sense. Xavio is being a Jolteon. I have to make an egg with the ditto. Speaking of which, I should probably prioritize that instead of my Charizard. Because again, that's just for me, but I do need an extra Eevee to complete the trio. Anyways, next. Yeah, so I never had a Diglett whatsoever. <laughs> okay, that screen, that screen that you just saw, that's why I thought that Dugtrio evolved into Onyx. When I was much younger. Anyways. It burrows through the ground at shallow depth. It leaves raised earth in its way, making it easy its spot. Dug it. I think it's because I instantly found, you know, Doug Trio. And I just used that. Because I, I never actually even saw one before that. And no other trainer had a Diglett, so... Literally wasn't in the Pokédex. In any way, shape, or form. Yeah, there we go. Ever had him a chop? Not sure why, being honest. Its whole body is composed of muscles. Even though it's the size of a human child, it can hurl a hundred grown-ups. Okay. To be fair, everybody's body is made up of muscles. There could be fat in between, and you know there's all that skin and stuff, but there is still muscles. Just not prominent ones, always. Mip. Meekly is evolving. Meckly, probably. That seems more right. And so that. So you know, the guys, you know, the guys builds up, and I got a burp. I tried doing it before this. Ugh. Ugh, God. Oh God. <laughs> that was happening right now. Primate. Yeah, you get it right. I had to stop it. Ah, dang it. I might have been a little late on that. Ribbit is evolving. You have to say it like that. It's a poly whirl. And we could instantly. Uh, let's see. Where are those? Make it into something else. I had no clue it evolved with a water stone. I honestly thought you had to trade it to evolve it. So that's why I never used one. Not in this playthrough, but in all the previous ones. Congratulations, you're ready! Evolved into a polyrath. I don't know why I'm suddenly so tired right now. But I'm probably not gonna take advantage of it, I can tell you that much. It's probably gonna go away in like an hour, and I'll be completely energized. <gasps> it's hair. 
is evolving. That's the face it makes. <laughs> Slow bro, of course. I feel like not many people use it because it's more of a defensive Pokemon, if anything. Withdraw. No, why not? No, uh, Pokédex? Yeah, well, that's why I'm gonna read it later. Zarmb is evolving. We're getting closer and closer to it being complete, but we're not quite there yet. Soon enough, though. Soon enough. Dude, bra is evolving. That just sounds like static. Anyways, Kadabra. And I had to trade it to evolve it, so let's go to that. Well, I mean, you know the trade I'm doing. Dude, bra. Just temporarily for pink love. Punk love. Man. Is evolving. Congratulations, your dude prop evolved into Alagazam. Everybody always wanted to use one, but Probably never trade. Oh, it doesn't have the spotlight over it. And it evolves. Alright, now give him back, Papaya. I don't. Whoops. <laughs> he's not yours, he's mine. He also has my EXP share on, so definitely need him back. I was thinking of using one for the series, but I had Star You, so there was not much of a reason to. Hey! Well, that's all then. Nice. Dugong. Its body is covered with a pure white fur. The colder the weather, the more active it becomes. Sure. Dewey. And of course, gotta get Seal. Covered with light blue fur, it hides its thick and tough. It's hide. Okay. 
uh, not <sighs> it wasn't just bad english okay it is active in bitter cold of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty much the same thing as dugong, but with different fur. Seeple. And coughing. Because of course I need one. Its thin balloon-like body is inflated by horribly toxic gases. It reeks when it is nearby. So if you were thinking it was like a very stony body. No. It's thin. Void, I guess. Of course, you gotta get Grimer. I prefer Grimer over coughing. I didn't use it because I already had Wendy, so. Yeah. Group. Yeah, so I had a Hypno, but no Drowsy. Well, I still have the Hypno. A descendant of a legendary of the legendary animal Baku, which is said to eat dreams. It is skilled at hypnotism. Ka. I just kind of found it while looking for another Pokemon, so might as well get the Seedra. Its body bristles with sharp spikes. Carelessly trying to touch it could cause fainting from the spikes. El Pinky. It's not pink whatsoever. Again, I was trying to find something else, but instead I found a Gyarados. It has an extremely aggressive nature. The hyper beam it shoots from its mouth totally incinerates all targets. I mean, that's not true at all, but... Neat. Garp. Ah, uh, finally. Yeah, I was trying to find a Krabby. Can be found near the sea. The large pincers grow back if they are torn out of their sockets. Ew. Cromulent. Void is evolving, of course. Of course. Becomes a wheezing. Hey, Groof is evolving. Finally at level 38. Yeah. Weezing was only at level 35. Finally, into muck. Don't say it backwards. Okay, so... Old Lemon here evolves with the Water Stone.
So, I mean, as soon as you catch one of these, you can just evolve it. It's a very good choice. If you don't have Staryu as one. Water Ice type, which, you know, Ice isn't that good, but I know it's a pretty good attacker, and I know it's it's much better than it seems. Okay, not very good. <laughs> like, it has a move. Um, I guess it doesn't have it yet. Icicle Spear. It's a nice one hit or multi hit move if you can do it right, but you're probably gonna use other stuff on it. If you know how to work it, it's good. Let's say that. Ah, rats, rats, ugh. Scuffed, scuffed, I know. Uh, cromulent is evolving, of course. Kingler. Ignea is evolving. If you don't know, it's like Igneous Rock. But it's a girl, so... Yeah. Anyways, Marowak. Alright. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Wanna trade one for my Mr. Mime? Yes. A bit of bra. Bye bye, and I don't have the other end this time. And it thinks I'm doing this wirelessly. An emulation definitely hasn't came that far. I know, it's weird. For Game Boy Advanced Emulation, they can't emulate that yet. Mimeon. Hey, thanks! Alright. Yeah. Now we got one of those. This is the only way to get Mr. Mime. Through trade. Whether it's a friend that has it, or this kid, more likely. Yeah, so I just kind of found a Wobbuffet in Cerulean Cave. I didn't even know this could spawn here. Keep its pitch black tail hidden. It lives quietly in darkness. It is never first to attack. I don't know how much of it, it caught of the sneeze. Ugh, the wheel. I'm looking for the Pokemon Golduck. Want to trade it for my Lickitun? Gah. Uh. I mean, yeah, obviously. Goodbye, Blue Duck. Going off to Hayden. Again, this is the only way to get Lickitung. It's a little odd. Uh, it's whatever. Uh, no, this isn't the Gold Duck I have in the PC. I just caught it in Cerulean Cave. That's why I even caught the Wobbuffet. Mark the Lickitung. Okay. Oh, Leo, do you happen to have a ride shoe? Would you get a trade for my electrode? I actually did this trade. Uh, my first time playing. Pikachu. I remember the name too. E Sphere. I don't know why he named it E Sphere. Uh, that's what Clifton did, and that's what Clifton did. Uh, you could trade with these other two, but like, <sighs> uh, oh, well, somebody else in here. A Venonat. 
for Tangela. But the Tangela is holding Stardust, so... And it's pretty easy to get Venom at. The E-Sphere is holding nothing. Now, yeah. Leaf Stone, finally. Use on Fongdi. I thought you had to level up the Execute, but no, you could always just use a stone on it. But I mean... <sighs> what else? What else really uses the Leaf Stone? Weeping Bell? Who uses Weeping Bell? Anyways, Executor! In Cerulean City's Pokemon Center. Uh... There's somebody in here. Um, I'm not sure who. Oh yeah, maybe upstairs? Um... No, I've been misled. Where the heck is this person? Oh, the house next to the Pokemon Center. This guy. Hello there. Did you happen to have a party world? Would you agree to trade for my jinx? Yes. Yes, I would. Bye bye, Polly Rich. I was gonna call you something else, but I can't say it. Involved a weenie. And you know, it's short for Richard, somehow. Zinx. Thanks. And yeah. Um, yes, that is the last Pokemon that can only be attained from trades. You can get Tangela anywhere else. You can get Seal anywhere else. And there is some trades for the opposite Nidoran, or Nidorino to Nidorina, vice versa. But you don't need to do those trades because you can technically find them in the game. But if you want it easier, or want the trade because they're the needle rands are holding a tiny mushroom then yeah i guess go for it needle reno's however not holding anything seal not hold anything tangela yes it's holding the stardust so maybe do that one since it's easy enough anyways grandma what do you want to chat about all right it got the other two eevees hatched that's what the eggs were and also you know the tie rogue and it is looking like that Tyrogue will become a Hitmonlee. Hopefully. Larion. And also... Hush. Lapis is evolving. Into Vaporeon. Let's stop acting like Vaporeon was the first. Okay. It was Espeon and Umbreon. That were the first. Then it was Sylveon. Vaporeon felt circumstances. Now if this was done right, it should become a Hitmonlee. Yep. Alright, the good, good. Yes, there is Hitmon Top, but that is harder to get, so. You know, I'm not going to bother getting that on recording. Marvin is evolving. Look, 
33? Level 33? For a Sea King? Nobody ever uses Sea King. So that's garbage. In fact, I, I, I want to see. Look at that. That's sad. Uh, <laughs> Swift Swoon raises speed and rain. Who cares? It's got a move about sucking bad that you don't have enough HP. But, God. Okay. I know I skipped Rhyhorn and, you know, there's these guys. These two evolve at level 40. He evolves at level 42. They're gonna be a while. Dang it, I messed up. Ugh. Oh well. At least it's been, you know, synced up. The, the audio's been synced up more correctly, right? More often. I think it was an OBS update. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Took forever. At least it feels like that. Kombucha is evolving. He definitely, you know, leveled up quicker. Because I forgot I did trade him in, so he got the boost. Means all that's left. Well, okay, Kubu Tops. You know, you never see this used really either. Rockwater is such a weird type. Um. All that's left is catching Pokemon. Soon. Soon I may be done. But, you know how the Safari Zone is. 1% encounter rates with a low chance of actually catching it. Hey, there we go. Yeah, Electabuzz is Fire Red's exclusive random one off Pokemon. It loves to feed on strong electricity. It occasionally appears around large power plants and so on. Dude, who uses these? Oh, I, I wonder how that got there. Yeah, only here at the power plant. Oh my god, finally! Okay, I got Chansey. It lays several eggs a day. The eggs are apparently rich in nutrients and extremely delicious. Huh. And it's only 76 pounds. Despite how beefy it is. Yes! Chasey. We are... Actually, this is super close. We have two more Pokemon to get. And then we have completed the Kanto Pokedex. Whew. Here we go. Alright, so I accepted I'm probably not going to catch Scyther in there. Uh, so I'm going to buy him through here. This is honestly probably faster. Yeah, sure, let's give him a name, or her name. <laughs> Skyzorian. Which means, our last Pokemon will be Tauros. Most likely. You know, I, I was thinking uh, during that, you know, if I somehow encountered a shiny during that 
I was just gonna open back up to raw screaming. Like a rough cut to screaming. Okay, so I've had very bad luck. It's been like 10 minutes between each time I find a Tauros. And then uh, last time I got three shakes, but it didn't stay in. <laughs> So I thought maybe, maybe recording will give me better luck, right? Two, three, no! <laughs> uh, oh boy. <laughs> One, two, three. Yes, it did work. <sighs> Finally. It's over. When it is about to tackle, it whips its body repeatedly with its three long tails. Odd. But that means... Oh, I can finally record the rest of this. Okay. Um... Tiny. I'm choosing to retire. <sighs> yes, I caught my fair share. I caught everything I needed. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this in post. All right, all right. Uh, let, let's go to that. And here we are in pewter. Because I want you to see the living decks I have so far. This is what I'm gonna leave you with. I might as well show you. Here we go. 1 through 30, 31 through 60, 61 through 90, 91 through 120, and 121 to 150. I know Mew exists. You know Mew exists. It's the 151st Pokemon. But there was not an event in this one. So all we really have are these random Pokemon that really don't matter to my completion to this. So, now, you can finally see, in the Kanto Pokédex, I have caught, or owns, all 150 Pokémon required. Yes, Mew is not requi required, because, I mean, initially it was only an event in Japan, and in this, it was only an event in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. That just was never gonna work for this. So, we have a man to talk to. Good to see you, how is your Pokédex coming along? Here, let me take a look. The amount of progress you've made on your Pokédex is 150 Pokémon seen and 150 Pokémon owned. Professor Oak's rating. Your Pokédex is entirely complete. Congratulations! And your National Pokédex is 172 Pokémon seen and 158 Pokémon owned. I'll be looking forward to seeing you fill your National Pokédex. Yeah. I get it. Uh, it's not that good of a reward. <sighs> okay, that's whatever. We don't really get anything for just completing the normal, basic, regional decks. It's a shame that it works that way. And I mean, wait a minute, there may be something else, but I'll cut it out if it doesn't pan out. So that's a no. Um, I won't be able to complete the national decks for maybe two years. Eh. And even then, I don't, I don't think 
Oh god, I can't. I can't complete the national decks. Unless I were to do something else. And I won't be able to complete the national decks until... Man, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. And then from there on, yes, I'll be able to. I assume by then, you know, hopefully I'll be making money on YouTube. So by the time I need two DSs for black and white, I can actually do that. But hey, who knows? <laughs> um... Yes, this is the end. That doesn't mean this is the last you're gonna see of this game. You know, if I could ever complete the national decks, maybe. But, again, I doubt I can. However, I've had something in mind. You know, uh, it was iffy on if I was gonna do it. But I think I've decided on yes, I will do it. What I am going to do, just as a bonus video, this is the end. So, it, just for fun, I'm going to put Papas and Papaya up against each other. Just to see who would win. I'm having a feeling it's gonna be Papas, cause Papaya's team isn't stellar or anything. But, to be fair, she has a sixth member that she still doesn't have. She only has a Lapras for Surf use only. So, hey. Maybe that one Pokemon could change the tides of battle for her. But... This does mean it is the end. So... I may shiny hunt, I may stream it, I may not. But... That's... Up to... Eh... That's just up to if I want to. Right? Right. And well, yeah, thanks for watching it all, if you did. I hope you appreciate the effort I put into this last amount. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I guess have a good day, or else.